Hello listeners, this is all of Hope Paranormal Stories. Hopefully you guys my last videos. Today is Eid special episode. Today episode is about river, about the haunted river. If you want to share your experience, share your story with me, you can share your story by the help of email. My email address is in description box and also in the screen. Let's start today's story. This story is told by Amjad. He is from Chitaba. I'm going to tell this story as like I'm just said to me. We live in a village, a small village. In our village there is a river. This river is so much popular. In our side this river is haunted. I'm going to tell you now the story of this river we know that this river is haunted and everyone a man will die in this river it is regularly happened in hundred years every, every year one man will be die at first we think we thought this is normal date but when you observe a story we think this is not normal date one day me and my friend was in the river for catching fish when will we are catching fish my friend offered me let's swim in the river. I told him, look see, this river is haunted. We shouldn't go there. Our parents didn't allow us to swim in here. He said, who going to tell our parents we should swim right now? I didn't want to swim in that river, but my friends or my said so. I'm going to the river. When we are swimming, I saw my friend was still stand. I don't know why he was standing. He always tried to scare me. I go to there. I go there. And told my friend, why you are standing here? We are you looking so weird. We are looking so weird when you are standing here. My friend was doesn't my friend didn't tell me anything. Why he he just is standing in there. At first I don't feel any scared, but then I feel scared. Then I ran away and collected some of villagers some villagers to the pond or to the river when I went there I saw my friend was still standing in there the villagers saved him from there and ordered us to go home we are going home but my friend wasn't talk with me I don't know what is happening with us. Then I take him to his house and told his mother something happened. Something happened. You should call someone. Your my friend that didn't talk with me. Then I went to my house in night. I in it my friend called me 
my friend got me it was midnight at 3 o'clock when my friend called me I told my I told my friend why you are calling me right now it is totally midnight we shouldn't go outside for play my friend said to me come with me his voice was good I feel so scared I told him I don't want to come with you please go home then I go to bed and sleep I woke up and I went to my friend house I saw someone screaming someone is screaming like some when a cow when a cow is when a cow is slaughtered, slaughtered. the sound happened this sound is happening in there I feel so scared what is happening in this house I went to the house and I saw there are lots of men standing in there and my friend what was screaming in the bed and he was totally weird his leg was up his head was up his his whole body was like his whole body is best I told his mother what happened why he is he is look like that his mother told me you don't know what happened to him when you sent him to us we called we told him what why you are why you are not talking with us talking with everybody he said only one word I want to go to sleep then he went to his room in midnight we feel shouting noise and he was shouting and told us I want to go to the river leave me leave me I want to go to the river leave me someone is calling me in the river we tie him we tie him tightly and when the sunrise he was screaming like this your uncle went to call a house call a priest in our country priest means huzu call a priest when i was there the priest came and go to my go to the bed and say to my friend who is in their contract with me no one said he wait he wait he wait one hour has been gone no one has answer in him the priest said to us you need to observe don't let him go to the river when night came he used to run away he used to run away to the river everyone tied him at the time his father mother tied him in the tied him in the bed he always want to go to the river in night his father mother called many of his but no one can give him a solution one night what happened i was sleeping i was sleeping then i saw a sound i saw i saw my i saw from the window my friend was there he was he was tell me he was going to tell me come let's go to the river and for catch fish i told the shadow i told the entity you are not my friend who you are tell me the entity said yes i am not your friend i am the demon of the river uh, every year i killed a man a boy a girl i need a human flesh human flesh every year this time i chose your friend i will bring him 
to me. You cannot do anything. No one cannot do anything. I shouted loudly and I saw the entity was sent here. Then my father mother came to my home, came to my room and said, Why are you screaming shortly? It is almost midnight. But I told my father mother everything. My mother and my father tell me, let's go to your friend's house. This is very serious matter. We are going to my friend's house. Uh, we saw, my, we hear my friend was shouting and, say, and saying, please untie me. I want to go to the river. I want to go to the river. There is a man is calling me. I want to go to the river. Please untie me. There was a priest. The priest said, talk with me. Don't talk with that. Talk with me. But my friend was continuously shouting weirdly and said, please untie me. You cannot do anything. I want to go to the river. I need to go to the river. Then I told the priest, I told him everything what I saw. The priest said, this is very serious matter. We need to do something very quietly, very spiritually. I'm going to tell this story to my to my teacher and he will come. Then the priest go to the uh, his teacher house. He told us we need I need two days. Please say please if you want to save your children, please. If you want to save your friend, stay in here, don't let him go. After one day has been passed. One day one day one day when I went to my grandmother house then I came to my parents and I I had a very horrible story and that story was my friend in that night my friend was in the room alone no one with him Somehow he untied him and ran away, ran away to the river. A man who saw a, a kid was going to the river running. The man was running toward him. He saw he sitting in there. He sitting in there and told nothing. He was saying, my friend was sitting in there. We try to observe what will happen. In that time he saw a large wave in the river and in the river a black shadow, a black entity which will be 10 or 12 feet long was calling my friend and there the entity said come. Come to me. Then he, they come to me. When he saw that, he ran to my friend and said to my friend, "Don't go there. Don't go there. Come here. Come here. Don't go there. Don't go there." Then my friend is stand up and say to to that man, "Told my father, I am no more. I am going." To going into the river. Then my friend jumped and the entity is no more there. He ran to my friend's house and said, Your son is dead, his son jumped into the river. They come to their come to their come to there. Everyone go there as such. No one has been found. My friend, dead body is totally and totally invisible. Then, in another year, another date happened in the river. Still now, that boat is haunted. Let's talk about second story. This story is told by.
Mr. Rahmat Ali. He is from Bogura. The story is about a river. The name of the river is Koroto. That river is also same condition. I'm go I'm going to tell you the story as like Mr. Rahmat said to me. After doing my work, I went to the river for fishing. I was catching fish still one hour. Then a man came. I don't know who is he. I never seen him. He told me, "Yo, brother, are you catching fish? Did you still, did you still do not catch any fish?" I was, I I was shocked. How did he know? I cannot catch any fish. No fish has been caught. I told him no. I am trying. The man said, "I am going to a bath. Please look at me." I told him, "Okay, I will looking at you, and you don't worry. If you need any help, you can call me." Then after the whole, a one hour has been passed. I saw the man was screaming. I told him, "Why you are screaming?" He told me someone caught my leg and 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 turning me into the river. I told him I'm coming. But when I came there, the man was already in the water under the water. I jump and I saw nothing. Another time I jump. In this time, I saw nothing. Then I think and then I. Want to told villagers, but I think I need to jump another time. Then I jump. In that time, I feel someone, just someone, drag me in under the water. Someone caught my leg by its hand. I was I was totally scared, and I was uh, able to. I uh, went to save and then and ran away. I ran to the village market and called some people and went there. When I another time jump, I saw. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, only one person was with me. I told that man, please stay in there. I jump another time. If I in danger, you will call all the villagers. Then I jump. In that time, I saw a man. A man was sitting in there, and and that man, dead body was in her leg. He was sitting to the dead body. When he saw me, he told me, uh, "Come with me. I will bring you everything. Come with me. I will kill you after. I will give you everything." I ran away and told that man. Call all the villagers a demon in the river. Then we all villagers came and we called a swimming who called a swimming man who is able to swim in danger situation. We search all the river and we don't find anything. But when we search in that in that line where the man was dragging. We we find a dead body. This dead body was that man. We called police. Police didn't figure out whose dead body is. This river is also a haunted river. Every year, this river takes one life. We are not able to swim in there. This river is still now haunted. Thank you, guys. This was my stories. Hopefully you guys like my story. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe my channel. If you have any stories, you can share me with email. My email address in the description back box and the screen. Thank you guys.